Hey guys, how you doing? So, a little while ago, I started building a cargo handling vehicle to load some crates onto a future vehicle. And I was doing that on a couple of live streams, but I haven't been able to do those recently. And so we're back on video form, I didn't want to keep you waiting um, on this build. And uh, yeah, it's pretty broken. It couldn't lift anything, and it kept flipping. And uh, yeah, I was pretty busted. So what we're going to be doing is basically trying to fix it up, trying to actually get it to lift a crate. I might have to redo the design a whole bunch, uh, maybe completely change it. Hopefully not, but uh, we'll see. So let's get to it. So here's the build as I have it. It had wheels on here and it was really messy in the back. I had a modular engine generator back here, but uh, it never worked and it was pretty messy. So I've cleared all this out for what we're gonna be doing. And I've put the wheels back with tracks because I preferred that. And basically yeah, everything is pretty much similar, but uh, we're gonna be making some big changes today. Trying to get this thing to actually work. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is essentially moving this arm into the center. And what this is going to do is make sure that once we lift something up, all the weight is on the actual center of the vehicle. What I'm going to be doing is actually having two arms come next to the canopy, which I'm going to be moving inwards. So I'm going to do that. So there we go, I'll have to find another way to get the canopy open because I've had to cut off the doors. But yeah, that's a pretty good start. And what I'm thinking is having some pistons right here and maybe having the arms come over. And that way we can get maximum leverage and just kind of improve the strength a bit while pushing the weight back. So what I'm gonna do is get a pivot here and what we can do is place this, I'll have to get rid of this, but around about there. And what we'll do is get a piston on top of that. Might be a bit too tall, but uh, maybe I can work something out with under here. There we go, so I mounted the piston sideways and that will lower the arm down here. And also um, these pistons can kind of angle instead of being vertical, which is uh, pretty good. And I've got these pistons up here and that's where the main arms are going to be resting on. So we can kind of draw those out and uh, we can maybe connect them. So we'll get the electric connectors and uh, just kind of guess where they might connect at default. I'm going to go about right there. Cool. And I'll get those wired up and then we can test that. Cool, okay, that looks pretty cool. And uh, we've got room to go down on the pistons and up, which is perfect. And these should pretty much sit straight and then we can have a nice boom come out and attach our uh, little arm on here. That's gonna be pretty good. Hopefully this is gonna work. Look at that. I've added uh, two more pistons on there. And so that should be plenty of power to lift this. So now it's time to get the actual hand, I guess, connected to the booms that we have here. So this joint here, I guess wrist joint was pretty weak. And so I'm just gonna get rid of that and we'll figure something else out. And we also have the rotation pivot. I'm going to keep that as because we are building within the train box scale here. We're going to be um, needing to rotate this once we're actually spawned in. So I'm going to bring this as close as I possibly can to the vehicle.
Okay, so when we spawn it in, these aren't actually joined. So I'm probably gonna have to move these up one. But uh, what we can do is come in the seat and pull our pistons back and they should get close enough to actually join. There's one. Try and wiggle it. There we go, two. Okay, I'm gonna have to change that, but if we now extend our pistons, there we go. We can lift it up. And I'm gonna rotate this. Okay, this has no power. All right, so we're out. This current setup is a bit janky and it's a bit finicky. So I'm gonna be adjusting it, but hopefully what we can do is actually lift our first crate properly and not kind of just bend the vehicle over. <laughs> and here we go, connecting it. And down, and moment of truth. Are you serious? Oh, look at that, it's completely buckled our pistons. How heavy are these crates? Urgh. Oh my god, look at that piston. <laughs> oh man, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. Or we can drag it, that's something. We're gonna need more pistons. I'm gonna set all these to the max gear ratio. Hopefully that'll give them enough power. All right, round two. We're gonna have a series of lipped over crates and they're gonna be like, what happened? All right, we're on. Now we have to go up. I don't know, we've actually reached the, the limit of the pistons. Okay, so we need a, a longer boom. And you can see there, it's high enough to lift it, but the piston or the pivots there are basically being pulled right off. I don't know what's holding them. And my pistons are glitching out of their runs there on the right side. <laughs> and oh my god. What is it doing now? I think I'm gonna have to completely redo the design. Um, I like the the idea of a single um, overhead boom with the pistons there, but this whole like track and body, I'll keep the canopy probably. I I kind of like the canopy, but uh, yeah, this is. So guys, unfortunately, we couldn't get this design working. I was really hoping that we could start lifting crates and maybe carrying on with the design but we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board which is always a part of building especially in Stormworx and no everything's gonna work on the first try but uh, I'm not gonna give up yet so hit that bell stay tuned for the next video on this and um, yeah thanks for watching